Life Positive, February 2023 Lead Story, The Twin, Flame With the world being abuzz with talks on the Twin Flame Dynamic, Life Positive takes a closer Look at the phenomena and tries to demystify the Concept of Twin Flames and its spiritual signify, Kants Rashmi Kaushal, an author, seeker, and Poet, unravels the world of Twin Flames and gives some sage advice to travelers on this journey. Every soul in this universe, the third, universe is actually only one half of a soul. When a soul begins its journey on Realm 4 Stage 5, it splits into two, a male soul and a female soul. This original male and female soul must, eventually, reunite on Realm 7 Stage 9 to form the whole soul once again. These souls are known as twin souls. Korshid Bhavnagri, The Laws of the Spirit World, Twin Flame is a trending term these days on the internet. The Western world is more curious about it and taking an interest in it. There are experts who share methods and tools to guide twin flame couples on how to heal the relationship and come into union with each other. There are books available on this topic too, which are mostly authored by Western authors. In India, Though this concept is not very popular it is slowly gaining currency with many people claiming that they are in a twin flame journey. According to Hindu texts, Lord Krishna and Goddess Radha are considered as one soul. In epics and folklore, it is mentioned that even though they lived in two bodies on earth, they were one since eternity. Except for this couple, no other gods and goddesses are considered as one. Their stories depict them as a married couple, as two individuals with different capacities and power, staying in godly union. So ancient is the desire of one another which is implanted in us, reuniting our original nature, seeking to make one of two, and to heal the state of man. Plato, the Symposium In the Symposium, Plato claims that human beings originally had two faces, four arms, and four legs. God split them into two under some law and what we see today is just a half part of that original human. Hence, the belief pervades that the other half exists somewhere in this universe. What are twin flames? Twin flames or twin souls are considered to be one soul split into two. To teach and learn the values of responsibility, coexistence and selflessness, souls are split into two halves. According to the book The Laws of the Spirit World, every soul has a twin. Usually, one part stays in the spirit world and the other part goes through the incarnation process. Twin, Lord Krishna and Goddess Radha are one soul. Twin flames or twin souls are considered to be one soul split into two. To teach and learn the values of responsibility, coexistence and selflessness, souls are split into two halves. Souls can be at different stages of development. Both are responsible for each other's progress spiritually. Twin flames are mirror souls. It does not mean they will be identical to each other in looks, nature, and behavior. Though, in some cases, similarities have been noticed. At the time of the split, the energy or the DNA of the soul is divided into two parts, with each part containing the same frequency and the same divine DNA. This way, Both individuals mirror each other internally at the soul level and the frequency level, but not necessarily at the physical level. Both souls are connected by a silver thread, so their connection is always there. They are never lost in the universe as only two souls are made up of that particular frequency. The reality of the physical realm, however, is different and depends on various factors. The temperament, beliefs, and habits of twin flames depend on the environment where the souls are growing, their karmic lessons, and the number of reincarnations the souls have had. The soul which chooses to stay in the spirit world guides the other part on earth to grow spiritually. Sometimes, if the soul on earth has not grown as expected, ignores the guidance, and takes hundreds of reincarnations to learn lessons, then the other part also incarnates to help that soul. Is twin flame a romantic relationship? It may or may not be a romantic relationship. 
This relationship is entirely different. It is not necessary that the twins will always be male and female and will share a romantic relationship as people usually think. It entirely depends on the stage of development of the soul. A soul might need a push, a certain guidance for its navigation, and if the higher twin fails to project thoughts on the other one on earth, then the higher twin descends to physically guide and evolve the lower twin. But in majority of cases, when the higher twin descends, it often goes to the lower realms and gets stuck over there. In the reincarnation process, this is quite normal. A twin can take any form to guide the other twin. They might be a guide, father, mother, sibling, friend, master, or a romantic partner. It completely depends on the amount of learning required by the lower twin soul to ascend higher in the spiritual realm. Twin flames have an intense connection. Are twin flames the same as soulmates? In the West, people are crazy about the idea. They consider anyone with whom they develop romantic intimacy a twin flame or a soulmate. Both the terms are different in essence and meaning. A soulmate can be anyone close to you, but they might not be your twin flame. They may be a group soul with whom you may have had many past life connections. Group souls are souls created at the same time, who reincarnate together on earth because of their love for each other. They help each other lead a better life and rise spiritually. Life with a soulmate is harmonious, whereas with a twin, it's an intensely tumultuous connection compelling us to go on a spiritual journey. A twin flame is part of one soul, whereas a soulmate is an individual soul. The logical, human mind cannot grasp this difference. It is confusing and difficult to know the reality of things that are beyond our dimension. You can know only it when it is revealed and confirmed by a true master, in deep meditation, or through a perfect medium. How can you identify your twin flame? A twin flame relationship is not romantic as depicted by artists, poets, or writers. It's not about roses, chocolates, gifts, and love talks. It's not about a dreamy world but about an intensely fiery and transformative relationship. There are some signs by which you can recognize your twin flame. Sense of recognition 1. When you meet your twin flame, a sense of recognition occurs. Immediately, sparks fly between the two of you, as though you know your counterpart very well. Their fragrance, eyes, touch, walk, and talk will give you intuitive flashbacks of having known them from much before. A twin flame is a part of one soul. According to numerology, when the twins are about to meet in the third dimension, they begin seeing numbers like 1111, 2222, 707, 717, 1221, etc., frequently. People become more intuitive, and their psychic abilities suddenly rise. Cooling energy If you are an energy sensitive person, then you can feel a soothing energy engulfing you in their presence. If you are feeling moody and unstable, even their distant presence will calm you down. You will feel that magic is happening. Magnetic pull the attraction is so intense that avoiding it would be next to impossible, and you feel drawn to them just like iron dust gets pulled to a magnet. Signs from the universe, as the souls are mirror souls, according to numerology, when the twins are about to meet in the third dimension, they begin seeing numbers like 1111, 2222, 707, 717, 1221, etc. frequently. People become more intuitive and their psychic abilities suddenly rise. It can be in the form of vivid dreams, glimpses of their past life, and astral traveling. One of the twins goes through all this and wakes up spiritually. Longing and pain, you might have been in several romantic relationships in the past or be enjoying a good married life, but the presence of a twin will shake you up. The connection will be very intense, and your heart will feel torn apart. The pain will be indescribable and the connection so unreal that you would not understand what's happening to you. The longing will be so intense that all other life challenges will become smaller in comparison. Telepathic connection, suddenly, 
You feel a telepathic connection working between the two of you. You will come to know about the twin without talking to them. If they are sick or in trouble, you will feel a sense of restlessness unknowingly. Mirroring each other, twins not only attract each other but also reflect to each other their deep-seated issues. The fear of rejection, abandonment, vulnerability, and memories of past hurts all come rushing up to the surface when you meet your twin. Usually, the more evolved twin tries to come closer to their other half, and the less evolved one tries to run away out of fear of getting hurt, controlled, and abandoned by the chaser, and the runner-chaser dynamic begins. Spiritual Doorways Meeting your twin leads you onto the spiritual path. In some cases, the intense magnetic pull and energy open the heart chakra, the seat of divine love. Out of the desire to come into union, the chaser is led to do a lot of inner work, meditation, mirror work, chakra healing, etc., and often their spiritual journey kick starts as a result. Transformation Your life will change with the entry of your twin. You will see yourself more clearly and come to know about your hidden talents, strengths, and weaknesses. You learn different aspects of relationships and human nature, and also about forgiveness, acceptance, surrender, honesty, and unconditional love. All this will make you a better human being. Never-ending relationship, all relationships go through rough patches. Friends go away, soulmates leave, marriages end, and people don't want to see each other again in life. Your twin, however, will always go away and come back again. The relationship never ends. The flame of divine love always burns, it never extinguishes. If a conflict or painful episodes occur between them, they forgive and forget, and when they meet next, true love blossoms. Hard Taskmaster, you will meet many teachers in life, but no one will be good enough to teach you difficult life lessons. The purpose of twins is to trigger each other's spiritual growth, to complete the pending lessons, and to evolve each other spiritually. The Twin Flame Journey The Twin Flame Journey is not an easy path. Some experts say that it's a rare phenomenon, not a general occurrence. Such souls are sent to Earth to heighten the positive vibrations on Earth. Modern psychologists, card readers, Twin flames experience deep divine love seated at the heart chakra, lead story 33. Akashic record readers and past life regression therapists claim that they meet and counsel many twin flames. They provide tools, sadhanas, spiritual practices, and methods to heal the relationship and facilitate physical union. This relationship goes through several stages. Preparation stage, both individuals grow up to a certain emotional and psychological level before meeting in the real world. Normally, spiritual awakening does not happen at the early stage of life. Their bodies, minds, and souls undergo some experiences and complete the basic karmic lessons before meeting each other. Awakening stage, this stage involves meeting each other, having intense attraction, falling in love, and yearning to unite at the third dimension level. There is a honeymoon phase which is soon followed by doubt, fear, anxiety, a sense of feeling helpless, and all sorts of turmoil. Both feel the need to work on their own healing and a game of runner and chaser starts. Separation stage, this is the worst stage where pain, suffering, and longing become sky high. Here, one twin runs away from the connection and the second one learns the meaning of love slowly. That love is not about possessing but about giving it unconditionally, accepting, and letting go of all expectations. This crucial stage is difficult to pass, but it is important for the learning and growth of the twins. Sometimes it so happens that when the runner returns, the chaser starts running away, thus increasing the length of the separation phase. Since the twins are internally connected, the more the chaser twin works on growing and evolving spiritually, the more they affect the spiritual growth of their counterpart. Surrender stage, when game of cat and mouse gets over, when both of them, 34 life positive, February 2023, 
The twin flame journey is about the union of two energy bodies. Internally accept the reality, overcome their weaknesses, awaken spiritually, and surrender the connection to God, then suddenly, reunion occurs. However, it cannot be forced, and all of these things happen in divine timing. Final Dissolution The twin flame journey is not about the physical union alone and getting married to each other. It's about the union of two energy bodies, where, two separate parts become one. Their energy self completely dissolves into one another's, and a new journey as whole being starts beyond the seventh realm. Lovers don't meet finally somewhere. They are in each other all along. Rumi. Indian philosophies talk about the karmic, bond called Ranunubanda, unsettled karmic ties between souls, which follow life after life. We meet several people in our life, whom we feel we know already. This does not mean that all of them are our twin flames. Karmic and soulmate relations could be many, but there is only one twin flame. Is it necessary to know about your twin flame? There is no need to search or look for your twin flame. It is not necessary that they would be on earth and be willing to participate with you in a romantic relationship. So, unnecessarily calling that spirit or soul in meditation or looking for them in love interests will create mental suffering with no treatment. If, in reality, the twin is of the same gender, much older or younger or a family member, then you will be completely misguided by twin flame guides and coaches. If it is destined then it will happen automatically under divine guidance and at the right time. Nature will reveal to you their true identity if required. Will your twin return and love you back? As you are already connected and entwined, virtually, the twins are never in separation in the fifth dimension. However, for the sake of growth, evolution, and learning, the game of union and separation is played in the third dimension. Once karmic cycles and lessons are closed, healing is done, awareness is gained, and the longing to unite at the physical level is gone, having realized that the other half is always within you, physical union occurs. However the timeline is not in your hands, therefore, it is foolish to insist and keep waiting for a physical union at the cost of your life and time. The external twin is a physical manifestation of all that is unhealed and incomplete within yourself. Once you plug those gaps and start feeling fulfilled take numerous life cycles for twins to come together as the possib take numerous life cycles for twins to come together as the possibility of falling into lower realms is higher. After descending from higher realms, the possibility of getting caught in the web of Maya is very high. So it's possible that both may reincarnate several times together to complete the journey, and not just in their final lives. The entire journey is there to teach us selflessness and our inner completeness, and to not just focus on our own liberation from the matrix. Is your twin flame your only true love? The laws of the spirit world talks about twin flames. The twin flame journey has both the stages, intense falling in love and painful separation. When it comes to love, we often visualize it as conjugal love. In today's world, people often suffer from loneliness and look for someone to feel complete. When they get to know about the concept of half-souls or twins, they want to look for them to feel whole and complete. This makes them declare any love interest as a twin flame. They want their love interest to behave as per their set rules, expectations, and desires, and after some time, the relationship becomes toxic. In the name of twin flames, several people end up in toxic relationships or ruin their already set marriages. They forget that the twin flame journey is not about physical union. It's an energetic union which involves the merging of souls. Though it is possible that in some rare cases, the twin will be a spouse or a love interest, your soulmate, group soul, and family members are all personifications of true love. Rather, coming in a twin flame union without healing and evolving yourself can destroy your idea of true love so that the coupling will be painful and conflict-ridden. The purpose of twin flames is the soul's evolution and its sinking in divine love. It's not about enjoying a fairy tale romance. 
Will healers, aura readers, and therapists help you unite with your twin flame? Healers and twin flame coaches help you by giving you a perspective on your situation. But nobody can guarantee a union. The inception and splitting of the soul are only known to the Lead Story 37 Divine and the Great Masters The prayers, inner work, and meditations taught by them can help you balance your masculine and feminine energies, as well as heal several inner childhood traumas. This is beneficial at many levels for an individual and not for just achieving union with your twin flame. Physical union is completely in the hands of God, and twins need to learn to surrender the outcome to God and move on with their life. When the learnings and healing of both twins get completed with divine timing, union occurs. So, pray to become complete from within. Your prayers will manifest one day. What do Indian texts say about it? The Indian philosophy talks about Aham Brahmasmi, which means I am Braham. I am the divine. It does not talk about any incomplete half. Numerous masters and meditators have spoken about it. They were complete here itself, merged in the divine while alive in their mortal bodies. No one ran for their other half or love interest to become complete. If a piece of sugar gets broken into parts, all parts will be equally sweet and complete. Being human, we have consciousness and we are actually complete, it's just a matter of realization. By completing our spiritual mission and by knowing the true purpose of life, one can feel complete and at peace. The feeling of emptiness arises when we feel that we are not moving on the right track in life, when we still have many spiritual lessons to undergo, or when the subconscious says that. One must first work on their inner integration through meditation. When the learnings and healing of both twins get completed with divine timing, union occurs. So, pray to become complete from within. Your prayers will manifest one day. What do Indian texts say about it? The Indian philosophy talks about Aham Brahmasmi, which means I am Braham. I am the divine. It does not talk about any incomplete half. Numerous masters and meditators have spoken about it. They were complete here itself, merged in the divine while alive in their mortal bodies. No one ran for their other half or love interest to become complete. If a piece of sugar gets broken into parts, all parts will be equally sweet and complete. Being human, we have consciousness and we are actually complete, it's just a matter of realization. By completing our spiritual mission and by knowing the true purpose of life, one can feel complete and at peace. The feeling of emptiness arises when we feel that we are not moving on the right track in life, when we still have many spiritual lessons to undergo, or when the subconscious says that. One must first work on their inner integration through meditation. When the learnings and healing of both twins get completed with divine timing, union occurs. So, pray to become complete from within. Your prayers will manifest one day. We don't belong on planet Earth. Our home is somewhere else in the spirit world. In the Bhakti Mark, People worship and have the desire to merge with their Lord. The Atma, soul, reunites with the Paramatma, divine, when Bhakti or divine love rises high and divine surrender happens. Merging and dissolution are mentioned in the scriptures but not in relation to couples. If you still long for your twin, long for the divine himself, the twin will automatically merge in the process. The Ground Reality a relationship with a hard taskmaster, twin flame, is never smooth. Just like two lions cannot live in one forest, similarly, two people of the same intensity cannot live together unless both of them have done the inner work or have grown spiritually. If twins get married without healing themselves, then life will become difficult and, eventually, turn into suffering and separation. Life means a lot to every individual, and it teaches us to move ahead. Even if you feel internally that a person is your twin flame, don't hanker for physical union. The twin flame journey isn't about that. Stay in awareness, in the mode of love, and wish them well. Accept, the journey wholeheartedly, without running or chasing. 
Do the inner work and pray for the inner completion of the journey. The work of soul union is not in the hands of ordinary human beings. It's the work of the universe, beyond our human capabilities. It's better to surrender all such things to the divine, learn the lesson of love, become peaceful, and perform our duties to our near and dear ones. Therefore, if you are single and on a twin flame journey, it's better to look for a suitable match to marry and settle down with instead of waiting endlessly for the reunion to happen after you have done the inner work required on this path. Both life and time are precious. The twin flame journey is part of your divine soul purpose and a higher calling. So do not insist on making it a physical reality and waste precious time on earth. To get one's twin flame physically, one should not ruin one's ongoing life, which is what Goddess Radha taught us. She was in love, and she stayed in love forever with Sri Krishna, yet she completed all her worldly duties. She merged in love and dissolved completely in her love, Krishna, internally. L.